Cancer. Hi, it's Lisa here from What's a Name Tarot. I'm here to do your weekly reading for the week of Monday the 27th of November to the 3rd of December 2023. These are general readings only, so just take with you what resonates. Check your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, any number synchronicities that may occur, and cross watches are welcome. Okay, so straight into this Cancer, you get number 37, Lion Spirit, be generous of spirits. Love that. Stepping up, taking the lead, King of the Pack, and number 31, Groundhog Spirit, time to let go. Something, someone, somewhere that you are able to detach from here, time to step up and take the lead and go for it. Love those two together there, Cancer. Brilliant. Okay, so 27th of November to the 3rd of December 2023. Clear messages from Spirit, please, for Cancer. I rule the moon, may have connection to a Pisces, when things are a bit darker and greyer, especially when it comes to needing to let go of some sort of energy here, this moon is giving you all the clarity you possibly need to see very clearly what it is, who it is, where it is that's possibly holding you back here. Wow. Cancer, Monday, Five of Pentacles, feeling like you're left out in the cold, feeling like something's out of reach here. This is about moving forward to warmer energy and once again, possibly what it is that needs to be let go of, but that moon again is giving you the clarity to see there's better things here than what it is that you're constantly trying to break free from around that stuck in a rut Five of Pentacles energy. Tuesday, Ten of Cups, emotional happiness around home, around family life. Always say it doesn't have to be mum, dad, two kids and the dog or two dogs and the kid, but the emotional happiness that's there, emotional support that's there. Sometimes it's not so obviously so and it may be when it's time to let it go. Maybe somebody coming in on board here got your back, problem shared, problem halved, but not needing to do this on your own. Wow. Two of Pentacles, you are starting to get control of the situation. Possibly you've been pulled in different directions. Somebody wants you to do this, someone else wants you to do that, and so on. It's been a, quite a juggle that you've needed to maintain here. The balance and alignment, that is starting to come back into place. And it may be in here, it may be what's happening out here, but getting control of that situation, it's a lot more manageable. Possibly somebody on board. What it is that you're letting go, Scorp oh, may have connection to Scorpio, transition is what I was going to say the other way around. <laughs> um, being able to close some sort of past chapter, turn the page and focus on some sort of new chapter that lies ahead. Sometimes I do say putting the whole book back on the shelf, selecting a whole different book and going for it. But ultimately there is a past that is closing off here and you are just focusing now on what lies ahead. Love that. Friday, Princess of Wands, very compassionate. No, it's the Queen of Wands, but very compassionate, knowing what you want, who you want, where you want to be. You've got your goals, you've got your ideas, you're not afraid to um, speak up and say things here. And this may be the whole letting go, putting someone in their place but also be generous of spirit, stepping up and taking the lead, and you know where that lead needs to be taking you. Saturday, Ten of Swords, ending some sort of painful cycle. Done, dusted, finished with. Time to let go. This is you doing that right here with that Ten of Swords. It's been quite, um, quite a battle that you have had to go through and it's now over as you are able to now focus on what we said on what lies ahead and that painful cycle can be well and truly left in the past. 
There is love here, the lovers on Sunday, soulmate twin flame, somebody significant, maybe an existing relationship. This may be somebody extremely brand new that is helping to release everything from the past as this new journey does begin. But whether it is an existing relationship, whether it is brand new, karmic in, um, relationship here, soulmate, significant other, that is by your side may have connection to a Gemini here but um, this may be where you are getting some clarity from the moon as well possibly seeing someone in a different light than what you had initially anticipated but ultimately with what is being let go somebody's by your side as this new focus is beginning so Cancer Overall, you get the moon, six of pentacles, three of cups, three of swords. There has been heartbreak due to some sort of third party situation, um, interfering, meddling, that has caused a lot of heartbreak, not wanted energy. And I feel like this moon's given you that clarity to see very clearly that that has been happening around you there. Um, Things may not have been as balanced as you had hoped with somebody in particular, especially as that third party comes in, it tips the scales either way. But ultimately here you are celebrating, being able to release this painful cycle because I feel like your eyes suddenly became wide open to a situation that was going on around you. Wow. So Cancer, Five of Pentacles, Monday. Ace of Swords, the Hermit, the Hanged Man. Yeah, while you've been left in this cold energy, it feels like you are sitting on the fence, not sure what direction to take here, like you are just hanging around, contemplating now what, what, what do I do now? Whereas this um, Hermit may have connection to a Virgo, you are able to take a step back to do some contemplation of where to now. Something that's a lot more pleasant, a lot warmer, a lot more manageable to um, put up with here. And along with this whole Ace of Swords, I do always say with that, it's clearing the crap out from the past and being able to have this fresh new start. And this is the be generous of spirit. Clear everything out and focus on what is going to be working for you. Ten of Cups, Cancer. King of Cups, Queen of Pentacles, the Fool. Here you are, feel like you're exactly ready to take this leap of faith. Whether it's a leap of faith to let go of something or someone from the past, or whether the leap of faith is the next stage of moving forward and leaving um, that tough past in the past here. Okay, you're in control of your emotions, you've put a lot of hard work in to get the results here and I feel like ultimately you are just jumping in and you're ready to get things moving in a direction that works for you. And the Two of Pentacles, Wednesday. Nine of Pentacles, Eight of Wands, Five of Pentacles. A lot of hard work um, to get things moving in a forward direction, but I feel like you're ready to actually be quite upfront with somebody when it comes to communication. Not letting half, half the story be told, but also not receiving half a story here. You're making a decision to get control of the situation, get your life back, 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 back get your life back on track here, and. Um, and have that success just in getting that first step taken here. Love that. Into the transition, Thursday. Ace of Pentacles, Five of Cups, the Moon. Again, may have connection to Pisces here when things are a bit darker and greyer. Um, going through the emotional sadness, loss or grief. Nothing's as easy as flicking a light switch on and off. This is now about having the clarity from the Moon of the chapter to be left behind and the new chapter or the new book or new direction that you are about to take here that moon giving you that clarity love that it is a whole new beginning with the ace of pentacles making that a successful new start 
Friday, Queen of Wands. Ouch, my knee. <laughs> the Hierophant, Two of Swords, Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, maybe stuck at a crossroads here. That moon again, giving you a bit more clarity, but needing the blindfold to come off to see very clearly what each path does lead you to here. There is ultimate success around home and family life, but you're not wanting to get pulled back into this energy from the Hierophant. Maybe that third party energy, trying to get you to do something that you don't agree with. You're willing to share your ideas, Somebody may be trying to sway those ideas um, and it's not really kosher to you. Wow. Ten of Swords, Saturday, Cancer. Death, Two of Wands, Queen of Cups. Again, maybe dealing with a Scorpio here, but being able to end that painful chapter, as we mentioned, turn the page and begin a new chapter here or select a whole different book knowing your goals and your dreams, knowing you're moving towards them and proud of how far you've come through some sort of emotional roller coaster ride, especially around that painful cycle and proud to be able to let that go with Groundhog Spirit. <coughs> Using my voice. Sunday, the lovers. Cancer. Yet the four of swords, the star, five of swords. Maybe somebody significant you've got your eye on here. Next step with somebody significant that you do have your dreams and wishes and hopes around. May have connection to an Aquarius, but you know, the roller coaster ride, starting to get that balance back into place, it does still mean, mean taking some time for yourself, looking after number one, doing some healing, and um, whether you walk away from some sort of battle, having that as your victory. But ultimately, your dreams and your wishes are still intact here. Be generous of spirit. This may be the beginnings of that journey to go and chase those dreams, possibly with somebody's significance. So Cancer, the universe says, Strength, Three of Wands, Ace of Swords. It does take strength to clear the crap out from the past and have this whole fresh new perspective of what lies ahead. But going into this with your eyes wide open, whether you see a situation um, in a negative or positive way, or someone even in a negative or positive way, it does take strength to A, keep your eyes open, and B, to clear the crap out that is holding you back. You may have connection to Leo, but a fresh new start once something or someone is let go from the past. Wow. So Cancer, finishing with Open to Spirit Oracle. One card, please. You are deeply intuitive. Learn to manage your sensitivity. Wow, especially when it comes to having to let go of something or someone or somewhere. Not as easy as it sounds. So you are highly sensitive. Sometimes you absorb other people's pain through your desire to ease suffering. This interrupts the flow of your intuition. Center yourself. Imagine a calm ocean lit by a full moon. Hold this image as you breathe away all energy that does not belong to you. Time to let go. With practice, you will manage your sensitivity and be surprised at the potential of your gifts. Be generous of spirit, Cancer. Love that with this reading. So do hope it helped. Thanks for watching. Many blessings to all of you and I will see you all next time. See ya. Bye.